Here is how to live stream on YouTube Shorts in 2024. Start by downloading OBS in the description, but don't open it yet. Of course, run through the installer. We're not opening it yet because we are installing Atom Vertical linked in the description. So run through that installer and then click on product to the top of the website and click on multi-stream and download and install Atom Multi as well and run that installer. Now we can open up OBS. Let's start by getting some good settings and scenes and making sure we can see the plugins. So I'll start by clicking on scene collection at the top and click new. I've named mine YouTube Shorts plus landscape scenes and press OK. And at the top, I'm going to click profile new. Same name, YouTube Shorts plus landscape profile. Crucially, show the auto config wizard and press OK. Optimize for streaming. Recording is secondary. 1920 by 1080 with 60 FPS. Yes, that resolution is correct. Pick a service. So this is for your landscape. This is not for YouTube Shorts. So choose anything. If you're not sure, just choose custom and type random stuff into these boxes. The most important thing you have to do is uncheck estimate bitrate and just set the bitrate to between 6 and 8,000. I'll set it to 6,000. I'll press next. It's suggesting good settings. So I will apply these settings. If you get any pop-ups, you can usually just close them or you could optionally dock them into place. Now, speaking of docs, let's make sure we have the correct doc showing. Click docs in the top left corner and make sure you've got Atom Multistream and vertical scenes, vertical sources and vertical showing. If they are popped out like this, you have to drag the white bar and drag it into place wherever you want it. And you can drag the sides to resize it. So we're focused on YouTube shorts here. So we want the vertical scenes, which you can see in the bottom right and the vertical sources. So I'm going to right click vertical scene and press rename. I've named this one camera and I'll press OK and I click the plus button underneath vertical scenes. I'll name this one computer display. That's going to show our computer screen and our webcam in the corner. Before we add those, let's click into settings and click onto audio and desktop audio. You're going to add your headset or speakers and underneath mic, you're going to add your correct microphone. OBS has chosen good settings for us on all of the other options. So we'll just press OK and you can see our microphone and desktop audio is added. Click the three dots next to the microphone, click on filters, click on the plus button, choose noise suppression, press OK and then choose RN noise. This is going to remove background noise, things like AC and fans. If your room is terrible and you have the NVIDIA options, choose one of those, but typically RN noise is fine. So press close. Now let's add in our camera. So underneath vertical scenes, click on camera and press the plus button under vertical sources, find video capture device and press new and then find the correct camera from the list. And then underneath resolution FPS type, choose custom and just set it to the highest possible resolution that you have for your camera, the highest possible FPS. Usually the other options will be fine and press OK. Now, as you can see, my camera has now been added on the canvas. Click onto the source underneath vertical sources. You'll see these squares that you can now drag to resize the camera. So for us, we just want a full screen camera. So I'll just get it dragged down like this. I'm going to right click transform and I'm going to center it horizontally. So I've now got a perfectly centered camera. So we'll lock the camera into place and we'll choose computer display now. Of course, you can set this up how you want. We'll do a very simple one. The two thirds at the bottom will be the computer display and the third at the top will be the camera. So let's click the plus button at the bottom and let's start with display capture. This is going to show our entire computer screen. You could also similarly use game capture or window capture. I like to keep it simple. I'm just careful what I show. The capture method is fine and automatic. Then just choose the correct display, capture the cursor and press OK. Then make sure you click on the display capture so it's highlighted and then just drag it around to place it where you want. Again, you can once again, right click, transform, center horizontally. You can lock it into place. You can also, by the way, right click, rename. If you want to change its name from display capture, you can do the same for the camera. Speaking of the camera, let's add the camera back in. That's the video capture device. It's already added. So here it is, video capture device. So we're just going to click on the camera and we're just going to drag these squares to resize it. So we'll be back in a second once it's fully resized. So there we go. It's now successfully in position. So I'll just lock it into place. So we're ready to stream now. We need to set up your live stream on YouTube. Let's click into the vertical settings. We're mainly focused on streaming settings here, but you can copy my settings off this page if you want. Let's click into streaming. And for simplification, we're just going to use the main OBS settings. And if you want everything to stream at the same time, check that box and we'll press OK. We're done on this page. Now we need to switch to the Atom Multistream Canvas and I'll click the settings here onto Vertical Canvas. Let's pretend YT Shorts isn't added, so I'll press remove. I'll now click Add Output and we'll add in YouTube. I'll rename it to YouTube Shorts. 
and it's asking for a stream key. So let's click this link and it's gonna load something like this, but I suggest you just press cancel and press okay to discard any changes. And what we're gonna do in the top left corner is I'm gonna click on the manage button instead and we're gonna schedule a stream. So we'll click that button. This is gonna allow us to repeatedly use the same stream key and the same stream settings. So if you already have a previous stream, just go ahead and use that. Let's pretend we don't, so I'll create a new one. And of course, just go through all the YouTube settings, choosing the options you want. The main thing is streaming software for how you wanna go live. Once you're happy, just press done on your options. And this is where we're gonna make a stream key. So I'll disappear for a second. And here is my suggested settings, including ultra low latency and start, auto stop and DVR. Anyway, the most important thing here is underneath select stream key, we're gonna create a new stream key. I'm gonna name mine YouTube Shorts key. You can name yours whatever you want. And I'll press create. And here is the stream key. It says paste into encoder. So I'll press the copy button and we'll go back into OBS and we'll paste it here. So stream key now paste it in. We'll press create output. We'll press okay. And we're now ready to start streaming. You can either press this button here or you can press the drop down list or this button here. So let's just press it on the left hand side. And you can see it's now started a timer in the bottom right, which should indicate that we're live. To double check, just head into your dashboard. And after a few seconds, your dashboard should be showing a preview of your live stream in the top left corner. And when you're ready to end the stream, we have set to auto end. So you just press the stream button again and that will end the live stream. You can see it says the stream will end shortly, so nothing to do there. And again, when you want to start a new stream, you just press schedule stream in the top right corner. You can reuse the previous settings. It should save all of the titles, thumbnails and different settings that you've chosen. So you would just press done to start your second stream. And then you just have to copy the new stream key. I might have indicated that it stays the same. It actually doesn't. So you just have to copy the new stream key each time into the output settings here. Of course, we just set up Atom Multi there. That means you can multi-stream. So you can watch my full Atom Multi-Streaming guide here.